Hello friends and welcome back to the show. One quick video, it's going to be a really short one, but I want to make sure you know about this so you can play around with it. Uh, a few days ago, we did the, a few, nine days ago exactly, the leaked decentralized llama model. And it was advertised as a model that can run on, um, you know, uh, a Raspberry Pi, on your local computer, etc. So in this particular video, I was not able to do it. So um, I only did, I had to do it on a, uh, a small GPU in the cloud. Lo and behold, Lior is a person that I recommend to, to follow if you're interested in AI. Just shared Game Changer. You can now run GPT locally on your MacBook with GPT for All, a new 7 billion LM based on LLA on Llama, right? Uh, it says the name is confusing because it says GPT for All, which makes it sound like it's GPT 4. It's nothing to do with GPT 4, right? This is a, a kind of a more of a GPT 3, GPT 2 type model and doesn't have memory like ChatGPT, right? ChatGPT brings in the memory. But I did go. So you have a get. I would recommend go to the GitHub and it gives you all the explanation, all the code because it's entirely open source and uh, examples and you have some ways of running it really quickly. So here you have your weights, download the weights, it took a little while, it's a big file and then you have MacBook, Linux, Windows and Intel Mac OS. Phenomenal, right? So I have an M1, I even think mine is an M2. So I tried this one and let me just open it up. I spelled the instructions are super easy, just simply clone this repository uh, down. Basically, I just download the zip file, put it in a, in in a in my folder, and then I um, put the, the uh, unzipped it, put the bin file inside the uh, chat folder, and simply ran this com ran this command. So let me see if I can get out of here. I'm gonna go chat GPT for all blah blah blah. And there it is. Hopefully you can see it. And now we have it. Um, write me a poem about llamas. Llamas are adorable and cute. They have floppy ears like dogs, but their furry bodies make them look like teddy bears. Yada yada yada. It knows a lot of things. Let's see. Um, what's the distance? from the earth to the moon. The average orbital radius between the earth and the moon is 384,000 kilometers. Let's put it into Google to double check. Yep. So I think this is really cool. Um, I now have this running locally on my machine. Part of what's really cool, and I'll dig into this uh, as, as time permits, is you can um, uh, you can train and generate. Additionally, you have all your weights are with you. So this is all stuff that you can have on your local machine. I recommend you put it on your local machine before, you know, who knows, maybe they remove it. Uh, but you want to have all this on your local machine because you're basically getting a an encyclopedia with uh, a huge amount of, of worldly knowledge and analysis. You can have it rewrite things just you could do with ChatGPT. It's very powerful. Put it on your machine, play around with it. Uh, you're bound, everybody's bound to have at least one of these OSs. And one thing I want to see soon is on the uh, on the Apple Watch. Look at that. There's a little video here. This is from McKay Wrigley. My Siri replacement, hey GPT, doesn't just work on, on your iPhone, it works on all your Apple devices. So if you have one of these, I don't. I wish I did, because this is something I'd really like to have on my wrist with uh, uh, an Apple Watch with a, um, uh, with a SIM card. So I, I would be asking it questions all day long. And finally, I'd be the smartest guy in the room. Nowadays, it's more like the opposite. Anyways, really wanted to uh, share uh, this phenomenal GitHub repo. Uh, it's uh, GPT for all. And if you want to get the details and all that, the link will be in the description. Or you can follow Lior. Uh, I mean, there's so many good people sharing so much cool AI tools. But this is definitely right. The weekend's coming. Go ahead, download this one, play around with it, learn how to maybe retrain it, see if you can, you know, put it inside um, uh, other programs, or local programs, your own Python programs. That'd be really cool to call that and get some intelligence there. Uh, I'm, I'm blown away every day, right? Definitely. Uh, please like the video, uh, subscribe, uh, share with your friends, and until next time.